one second while I sync both cameras. Greetings, unsettled souls! Yes. Welcome to the correct views. Sam I beat Ganji is here doing political commentary for the media speaks. It's correct views, hello, low daff live, high daff will be streamed later. It's time for the Dunce Cap of the Month show. For those of you that don't know, here's what we do. Uh, once a month, we go ahead and we send out a Dunce Cap stupidest person that we can find. Now, this is a little harder than you think it is. I'll tell you why. Sometimes you can't find the person. They don't give their name. That happens. We don't send them out of country. Out of the country, because it costs too much. You can change that by donating at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. But we, we can't afford to do that. But I'll tell you what we can do. We can sometimes send it to the embassy in those instances. But here's what I have for you this month. And when I mean stupid, I mean earth-shatteringly stupid, okay? There's no other way to put it. Go into screen share and you guys will see exactly what I mean. Little old lady, little old lady, who yodeling. Uh, little old lady arrested for making fur cats, fur coats with the neighbor's cats. It's in Waco. An 85-year-old woman has been arrested by a local law enforcement after being caught on film kidnapping one of her neighbor's cats, which she is accused of making fur coats from. I told you, what, this, this, there's like four of these. This is just the first. Uh, a recent disappearance of domestic animals in the neighborhood started to arise suspicion from local residents when some people started to notice the, old, the lady's particular fur coats, some even recognizing their cats in the coats furs. A fact that the lady vehemently denied before being caught on videotape by a private detective hired by local residents to follow the suspicious lady. It is believed that the old lady started at first to raise her own cats, but finally decided to capture neighboring cats because she got too much attached to the little critters, she admitted in court. Oh, there you go. She's so, she's so humane. A cruel operation, the retired fashion designer lured neighborhood pussy from a food and skinned them in her basement where she dried their skins. She used the meat of the cats to lure other cats who unwittingly were eating their own species. A disgusting and cruel hobby, admits PETA spokesman Jane Churchill. Well, I mean, I don't know that it was a hobby. Anyway, I can't believe that these atrocities happened in our backyard. Animals are our brothers and sisters. Well, that's a bit much. And she has done, to my eyes, is comparable to mass murder, she explains. She has taken the lives of hundreds of cats just to make fur coats out of them. This is tragic. How could people react if someone made coats out of human skin? These cats are living beings. Okay, now, here's where I kind of laugh. Not only is there room on the dunce cap of the month, you see, for, for this dummy, but... It goes deeper than that. Um, what you have here is a dumdy from the original lady that said, oh, well, cats are living beings. Like, if you have a leather coat, the cow, moo, the cow was a living creature. I know you might find that hard to believe, but it's, it's true. Now, I don't know. I mean, you eat a cow, you wear a cow, you eat a cat, you wear a cat. I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't personally. People have said I eat pussy, but that, I, no. I've never had it. I, I really, it's the dunce cap of the month show. How serious do you want me to be? I'll get back to all the slaughtering and murdering and other shows. You guys know you tune in to hear these ridiculously dumb stories. And I've got more of them. Yeah, we've got the lady that made uh, cats. How about this? Babysitter transported to hospital after inserting a baby into her vagina. Now, this wonderful woman here from World News Daily uh, Report, this woman here, I wanted to, uh, I, I wanted to give her the Dunce Cap of the Month award, but I can't find where she lives or where to send it to her. But I promise you, 
if you find me Miss Latifa Brown, right there, you find me her, and I promise you I will get a dunce cap to her. You have my word. Cincinnati, Ohio, a th and she's in my state even, a 33-year-old woman was admitted to the University of Cincy Medical Center yesterday after a 14-month-old toddler that she was babysitting was stuck in her vagina. Vagina cavity fun. Latifa Brown called 911 around 9.30 a.m. last night, reporting that she had a baby stuck in her vagina. The operator first assumed that she was giving birth at home and dispatched an ambulance to the site. The paramedics had quite a surprise when they arrived on the site and saw what had actually happened. One of the paramedics, Brian Whitmore, related the incident in an interview with WBNS10 TV News. I bet he couldn't wait to, to give this interview. It's something he waited for his whole life, I'm sure. The paramedics spent a little more than an hour on the site trying to release the child from the difficult position, but were unable to get the toddler out. Now, how do you get a toddler so stuck in yourself that you don't... How, how does that happen? Ladies, comment line, help me here. Miss Brown and the child were finally transported to the hospital where doctors were unable to separate them after were able to separate them after a delicate operation. Now, I I'm proud to to have said, you know, I, I, I know a thing or two about the female anatomy. Ladies, what did what, what did the baby get stuck on? I don't mean to be cruel here. I got something in my hair that's driving me nuts. What 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 in the world was the baby getting stuck on that is in the human female cavity that would need an operation? If there's, if there's something blocking the way out, I don't think anything should go in. It's not crass, it's true. Crass. The young boy suffers from a dislocated hip. What did she ram him in with? Liquid Drano? Doctors don't think he will suffer any sequel from the incident. The babysitter was interrogated by police and confessed to deliberately inserting the child into her vaginal cavity. She explained that she was feeling depressed after her doctor told her she could never have children and wanted to know what it felt like to give birth. Miss Brown now faces a total of 11 criminal charges, including aggravated child neglect, causing bodily harm, and could spend 65 years in prison. Ouch. Told you it was a dunce cap of the month. Her lawyer had asked for a psychiatric evaluation, claiming that she isn't fit to stand trial, and depending on her results, her uh, case begins this month. I would say the chances are pretty good, if I'm looking at her here, that she has some serious mental problems. But um, suffice to say, uh, if she goes into prison, I know they have a lot of like different work release programs and things that you can get into. Call it a hunch, friends, but I would not let this woman major in child daycare, did call it a hunch, it's probably a bad vocation. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views, brought to you by the Seacrest Motel in Sandusky. You're going to go to Cedar Point, you're going to go to Sandusky, where you're going to spend too much if you don't stay at the Seacrest Motel. Tell them that you heard about it from The Correct Views. Guess what? You're going to save money for that, too. Uh, check this out, friends. A World News Daily Report. A woman who thought she was pregnant gives birth to a giant tapeworm. You know, if you can't tell from your pregnancy test, isn't that beautiful right there? It's the tapeworm, by the way. You think I'm kidding. I'm really not. Um, how do you not know this? Uh, Fuka, 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 my, my Japanese, time, Fukushima, no it's not. A woman gives birth, not to a human child, but to a giant tapeworm. At Kyushu Central Hospital last night reports the Tokyo Sunshine News. Isn't that just sunshine? We got the sunshiny news here. A woman gave birth to a tapeworm. News at 11. Film at 10.30. Uh, Yuki Kanataki, a 38-year-old Fukuaku native, I know I'm butchering that, gave birth to the 7.7 meter long tapeworm that had apparently Pariticized her body for 16 years, believe experts. Now, elephants stay pregnant for two years. She should have been at least suspicious after that, no matter how big she was. Yeah, I'm chubby too, I'm allowed to say it. The woman was in excruciating pain and believed that she was in labor, even underwent an epidural anesthesia to relieve the pain. 
the 482 pound, I'm not that big, woman has said that she had no idea that the parasite was in her body and burst into tears when she learned she wasn't pregnant at all. She didn't cry because she had a monster inside of her. She cried because she wasn't pregnant. Now, the question here is, um, how, if she's that big, did, what did you move to? I think, what, to go back to the last story, can you get stuck once you're in there? I, I'm just asking. I thought it was my baby's umbilical cord, but they kept pulling and pulling and nothing came out, she told reporters in tears. Uh, I didn't give her the dunce cap of the month because she's in another country and because it is kind of sad because she seems like she really wanted to be pregnant, but I mean, I'm sorry, you made the dunce cap of the month on this one, lady. The young 38-year-old woman and her husband were devastated to learn she was in fact not pregnant. Everybody said I was too fat to carry a child. I was so proud to prove them wrong. You could have just stopped eating. I know. I used to be bigger. I did the same thing. Do I still eat too much? Yeah. But I'm not 425 pounds. Not condemning. It's just that if you're going to have a kid, maybe you should do a certain prudent thing. A few prudent things. What kinds of things? Oh, I don't know. How about not smoking cigarettes? How about not weighing 425 pounds so that the baby is born with diabetes before it even gets born into the world? These are all remarkable ideas that you should look into before having a kid. She was really moody and would cry for no reason. She was feeling really tired all the time. She was hungry. I was 100% sure that she was pregnant, admitted her husband. And this is the dangers of eating raw pork. Now, this is spooky because... We are, particularly guys, uh, I don't think there's too many women that do this. Everyone's going to say, you were, gave two stories about women, so you must hate women. That's nah, it's ridiculous. Let me tell you the truth here. Truth is, you have a certain number of men in this world, and I'm one of them, that when they're cooking something, eh, it looks like it's not enough, you know, eh, eat it. That is actually what led to this woman's tapeworm as my computer dies. That's what led to this woman's tapeworm. So, I mean, it is a very serious thing, and it is something that doesn't need laughed at, but I'm sorry. If you thought that you were pregnant when you have a tapeworm, you do, in fact, get mentioned in the Dunce Cap of the Month Award show. But did she win? No, no, she did not. Why? Well, because... John McCain one. I, I put it out there just like that. Now you're going to ask me, Sam, what did Mr. John McCain do to beat, to beat a woman who, uh, out for the Dunce Cap of the Month award, who uh, put a baby in her vagina? What did he do that was dumber than that? What did he do that was dumber than making a fur coat out of your neighbor's cat? I'll tell you what he did. He said that President Barack Obama was a better president than Donald Trump. Now, let's pretend you hate Mr. Trump. That's fine. It's a free country. You can hate whoever you want. But to imply that virtually anybody was not better than Obama is quite possibly dumb enough to be the dunce cap of the year if we still did them. This is a whole new level of dumb. NAFTA, that sent our jobs away, is now being put away. He's making unilateral deals instead of uh, bilateral deals, meaning uh, us and another country, instead of bringing in 30 countries into one trade deal. That keeps our jobs in the country. Man-made global warming is a hoax. He got us out of the Paris Accord, so we're going to quit paying a lot of money for that, too. Race relations under Obama were abysmal, terrible. Guess what? He allowed that to happen. He allowed that division to happen. The only people that are still arguing about race now are people that miss Obama, not because of anything Trump did or said. Most of that exists only in their human imagination. So I'm going to go ahead here and show you what the dunce cap of the month is. Uh, we got one, of course, going to uh, Mr. Trump, uh, Mr. McCain, and um, I think it's pretty damn good. There's my drawing of John McCain. It says, uh, I'm such a spiteful old man who America has rejected at least twice. That'll 
I'll say Obama's better than Trump. That's a pretty good picture, I think. And then here, Obama is not better than Trump. There's my Obama. And of course, then, uh, we got Dunce. I think my computer just died on there. We got Dunce. And uh, we're going to go ahead in here and take a real good look at what I'm sending. Uh, look for me, you can see McCain. It didn't print right off to fix that. Christelle kind of... But, yeah, it's perfect. It's like the perfect capacity. It's one of the best ones I've ever made. The Dunce Cap of the Month. And he'll be getting this and the hat mailed to him. This Dunce Cap of the Month goes to John McCain, the man who not only failed as a candidate, but now has the foolishness of ton to say that Obama was a better leader than Donald Trump. Open borders, a ruined health care system, the furtherment of NAFTA, endless outsourcing, the funding of ISIS, and even the fall of Libya, I wrote. All happened under Obama's watch, as Trump works to rescue us from his folly. For that, you, Mr. McCain, win the Dunce Cap of the Month award. Thank God alive that you did not win the election. You know why? Because maybe we think Obama's a better president than you would have been, you don't. Uh, friends, that is the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to see what my computer is doing, friends. Good night and God bless. Please donate, if you can, the correct views at Hotmail.com uh, through PayPal.